Boomer shooters have been on the rise lately. It feels like every time I turn around, more and more have been announced, which is actually pretty cool because I love having great options in a fantastic genre. However, most of these games seem to take inspiration from Doom with over the top gore effects and over the top guns, which is nice. I mean, Persian heretics in a Warhammer boomer shooter, what more could any fan of the genre ask for? Well, you know, there actually is one thing we could ask for. Because while violent is definitely cool, sometimes you want to mix it up a little bit. In fact, way back in 1995, there was another FPS game that came out that completely changed up the formula. And that game was Hexen. Hexen, a world where magic's legacy has spawned corruption. Instead of having linear levels where you would wander around in circles hunting down the red or blue keys, you were dropped off in a large open hub that had interconnecting sections, which offered vast exploration on top of the FPS gameplay. Plus the fantasy setting was a nice touch. However, unfortunately, why Doom clones seem to be making a massive comeback, the Hexen archetype seems to have kind of taken a backseat, which is a shame because it seems like fans are really missing this franchise. I mean, did we forget how people got excited when Phil Spencer went on stage rocking a Hexen t-shirt? No matter if you choose to play on Xbox, PC, or over the cloud, all gamers are welcome here at Xbox. Now, instead of waiting for the Tripboy scene to announce a new Hexen game and then praying that they don't screw it up, why not check out Hand of the Necromancy? That is right. You play as a necromancer in this game. And no, you really do not seem to be a good guy either. Instead, you seek to grow even more powerful and learn new forms of dark magic as you search for challengers to fight so you could hone your wicked craft as you seek to destroy many monsters in the wild. Yet none of them seem to be truly worth the fight. Is it just me or does this remind you of Goku if he was in D&D and playing as a dark wizard? Now, luckily for you, all of a sudden, more and more dangerous creatures start entering your world. You know something is wrong. However, this might be the opportunity you've been waiting for. It's time to prove your might and show everyone just how fearsome of a mage you always knew yourself to be. I mean, if that doesn't reek of evil, I don't know what does. In fact, just listen to this guy's laugh. <laughs> Now, it's not just an evil lap in hands that look beyond dreadful that we have at our disposal to take care of these pesky monsters. The game gives us a wide range of weapons and abilities, from melee to a staff that shoots fireballs, to even spells like casting a tornado where you basically make the enemies go flying backwards or an ice ring, which offers a really cool freezing effect, causing them to simply shatter and break before you, which is really cool and quite satisfying. And each one of these weapons has an alternate firing method, such as sort of a shotgun type blast from the fire staff that lets you deal a ton of damage if you are close enough to the enemy, or turning that ice ring into more of an arctic blast channeling spell. On top of this, we also get access to shape shifting, which allows us to either access new areas of the map or simply use as a new way to kill these monsters that stand between you and your path to glory. But I would love to hear what you all think. Are you guys fans of boomer shooters? Which new or old school FPS games do you guys love? Let me know in the comments down below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm gonna get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.